Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, moderator. Fellow Ugandans, we all know that whenever a baby is born, there is a lot of excitement in the family. Especially for us grandmothers, we keep calling the mother to ask how the baby is. And the mother will always tell you, let's say when I called when my granddaughter was uh, six months, like, oh, she's great. She's now sitting up. She can sit up? Yes, that is quick. Then a year later, I wish to, to wish her a happy birthday. And I ask, what can the baby do now? Can she walk? I said, walk? She can run. I'm like, wow, that is quite, quite quick. Now, four years later, this girl is in nursery school, and I go there. And she is in the middle of a circle of other young children. And they are singing that song, which most nursery schools sing. What can you do? So she is asked, what can you do? And she's like, oh, I can run. I can jump. I can sing. And whatever she says, the rest of the circle sings. I can run. I can sing. I can jump. That is nursery school. Now, 10 years later, I meet her and ask, what, what is happening now? Oh, I've just finished P7. I'm like, great. So what can you do? And the mother is like, she has just finished P7. I'm like, okay. The question was, what can you do? The mother is telling me she has just finished P7. And I let it go. Then, seven years later, the same child will have finished senior six. And they will bring her to your office to tell you that uh, you see Junior has just finished senior six and is looking for something to do while waiting to join the university. And of course you ask that nursery school question, what can Junior do? These questions normally go to mothers because they are the ones who normally go around looking for jobs for their sons. What can Junior do? The mother looks at you and says, he has just finished senior six. The question was, what can Junior do? And the answer is, he has just finished senior six. And looks at you with those eyes which like tell you, what do you expect him to do? He has just finished senior six. So, of course, to make life easy, you ask the mother, what does Junior want to do when he goes to university? I don't know. He's waiting to go to university, but you, the mother, don't know what Junior wants to do at university? Of course, you decide to make life easier, and you ask, <coughs> what is Junior's dream? Where does he see himself five years from now? Because if you get an honest answer to this question, it will help you place Junior in your organization. Then the shocking reply comes, I don't know. You don't know what your son is going to start at university? That means you don't know your child's dream? So, of course, questions start running around my head. If the mother does not know what Junior's dream is, who knows? If the mother does not know what Junior's dream is, who is helping Junior nurture this dream, mature this dream, and actually celebrate with him when he achieves this dream? Or, God forbid, should he fail, be there for him when things fall apart? Fellow Ugandans, Uganda has not been easy before COVID. After COVID, it is not going to be any easier. We are all going to need somebody to hold our hand. And what I want you to keep asking yourself, whether you are a young person, old person, but as long as you are listening to me, I want you to keep asking yourself, what can I do? Then two, what can Junior do? We all need a helping hand. Because when there is a helping hand, when there's somebody to listen to you, one, it gives you hope. And with hope, there is always a possibility. With hope, you see alternatives. And definitely with hope, you can never give up. Fellow Ugandans, the one thing I want you to remember after this conference is just that question. What can I do? What can Junior do? I thank you.